three, two, one. <laughs> I'm live. We're live. Oh, wow. <laughs> Are you nervous? Dun, I'm a dun, little dun. nervous. <laughs> I am live here with the much anticipated Vicky Strickler podcast. I am so stoked. <laughs> You're stoked. Yes. And not only do I have Vicky Strickler here, she brought me uh, about a million toys for the uh, Brandon Browse Christmas Miracle. I'm very thankful. She's like one of the number one donators every year of all the sweet toys. And uh, I was, well, I guess I can't now, but she brought me some cool firefighter hats and I was going to wear one. Uh, <laughs> wow, I am proud to be a part of it because yeah. I think it is a great, great, great thing you do. Oh, thank you. And I don't want to steal your thunder. We can get to that stuff later. So I am very <laughs> excited to talk about this, <laughs> this pool because this has been a, uh, there's been a lot of talk about this pool and I want to know all the details about it. Well, I'd be happy to share them with you. <laughs> so the number one thing that I'd like to get into is uh, the fundraising. So I didn't realize how expensive pools were until Attica took on their endeavor of their pool. And they're going over these numbers. I'm like, you guys are crazy. There's no way. And yeah, they're like, I'm thinking it's going to be like a couple thousand dollars for this. And like a couple thousand. No, no, we're not even close. So maybe you could share some of the details with the folks out there that are curious about the pool to start out with. All right. Well, first, I'd like to probably tell them, Brandon, how we came up with the design that we have for the pool. Perfect. And where that price came from. So um, we went to the town and, of course, the town's known for years that our pool that we currently have um, was failing. Mm -hmm. um, every year we're crossing our fingers and praying that we're going to get to open um, because of... Um, it's exceeded its life expectancy and then the maintenance on it and getting parts and the cost of those parts because they're not something they currently right. use. It's ADA yeah. compliant. It's something that they did 24, 25 years ago. Yeah. So um, we um, looked at that and said, okay, let's see about fixing our pool. It's going to be so much cheaper to fix that pool than to, to do a new pool. So the town hired um, HWC to do a thorough um thing of the pool mm -hmm. uh, the current pool, pool we had yeah and what it would do to um make it running successfully and that project was 1.6 million dollars yeah to fix what you had and then it wasn't even going to guarantee um that you would it would be fixable completely so you could end up with a mess and then not be able to follow through with those details yeah second of all our current pool doesn't meet the needs of everybody and um it just meets a certain crowd right, right. and so because what you were saying too like where you got to jump in where you know like yeah if like yeah. you're handicapped or you know maybe you have a hard time getting in and out like what you're saying you got to have you there's just a ladder right? yeah so you climb yeah. in for those of you that haven't been there it's uh i, I guess yeah what three probably three three feet. foot to yeah. start with so yeah um so they went ahead and HWC gave us a bid on what it would cost to fix what we had and what it would to change to an ADA compliant, which ultimately means a zero entry pool right. that anybody could just walk straight into the pool. Right. Um, so um, that would give anybody access to that pool. Sure. So then what? Dad, if you're watching this, I'm going to wheel you out there. In That's the right. Physical therapy. <laughs> yes. Gonna, you can just sit in the water. Water is the best therapy. <laughs> I'm going to put you in, dude. <laughs> yeah. So um, we formed a pool committee um, that has um, park board members, community foundation, um, a board member from the town, uh, Warren County commissioner, and um, came up with a, a plan and so what we did is we sent out a survey in the bill utility bills mm -hmm. um, we posted a facebook survey and we asked the community what is important to you if you're going to invest in a pool and uh support it mm -hmm. um what do you want to see sure and so the biggest need the biggest want was a splash pad Yep. Something that's going to be open before pool hours and after pool hours because the access will be able to um, come in from the pool, but when pool hours close, that fence can be shut off and they can enter from a different side. Oh. So they'll have some extended hours on that. Okay. Um, so that was one thing that was just a big majority. And mm -hmm. two was that anybody could get into that pool. Yeah. Um, they talked about having wanting to have 
water aerobics and to be able to have different activities um, in the pool. Yeah. So by what they did, we then compiled um, what we thought would meet most of those needs. Um, and unfortunately, um, we did have to eliminate um, based on cost and based off um, how are you going to maintain the pool once we get it? Right. And so. Yeah, you spend the money now. You want to be able to keep it nice. Yeah. So, of I mean, course. just because you make a pool doesn't mean you're going to get to keep that pool if you can't maintain it. Right. So, um, I know people were sad to see a diving board go. But, um, like I was telling you earlier, you have to have a diving well. It's not something we're grandfathered in. So, we have two diving boards and a 10-foot in that kids get to swim right as you're jumping off and hope you don't get hurt. Right. Um, back in the day, I'm going to tell my age, there used to be a high dive there. Really? There was a high dive. Anybody that's on here and you're my age, <laughs> <laughs> you probably remember that high dive. Yeah. Well, um, so that, that, and, I, and I don't want to cut you off, but that was one thing, too, that I, I, I would like to go back to is if the rules and regulations, I'm sure, have changed over the years. So, like, where they had a diving board back then. Yeah, you well, there's probably different really, you know, you may not have had to have a couple of lifeguards or you know, it had to be so deep and it may have changed yeah, over the years. Okay. Absolutely. I was so, wondering if that was the case. So like that, you have to have a diving well. You're gonna you're only allowed one person in that water and you have to have a lifeguard there. Mm -hmm. So to maintain that, it doesn't seem feasible to allow one kid in the water when you can allow more people to use access of a different part of the pool. Right. And to maintain that. So um I, I hate to see that part go, um, but, you know, you want to be able to um, give as many different opportunities. And then I'll explain some things that we can do later. But um, so we went with the slide. Yeah. Thinking that that would um, help make up for not having a diving board. Right. Um, people are asking, what is that slide that's going on to the sidewalk? Yeah. So um, and, and for those of you guys that are watching, too, because I this was the very first thing I noticed when I seen it is. I don't know how well you can see this, but the slide comes over here and it runs parallel to the pool. And I, I thought maybe it was like a design flaw or something. You know, I was like, well, yeah. maybe, maybe they just they mix mix that up until so I asked you about it. And now it makes sense. You know, yeah. like, okay, I get it. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so it's ahead. actually a trough slide. I don't know if you remember. This is what I think of. Excuse me if anybody's offended by how I say this, but you know how you go to Holiday World and you go down the racer and then you're picking your bathing suit out of your butt <laughs> <Yeah>. crack. <laughs> I, I might see butt crack after this. I don't know. Anyway, right. that's kind of on the line. You know, you come yeah. into that trough of water and you don't see a lifeguard standing at the end of that. Right. right. They're at the top of that. So because of this type of this type of slide, you're able to eliminate a lifeguard. Uh -huh. You're going to have one at the top that gives them time to variate to go down. Yeah. And it also allows people of a shorter height so if you drop into the pool we're gonna to have to have a lifeguard at the end you're gonna to have to have a lifeguard at the top and i'm gonna to have to limit height requirement and i'm gonna be telling kids sorry but you can't go down the slide yeah. i don't want to do that i don't right. like to tell people no yeah that's my problem <laughs> that's why i'm here i don't like to say no <laughs> right, right. so yeah. um that's that's why we chose that particular slide but you know what it's going to be more fun you got the curly cues where right. if it was just dropping into the pool it probably had one of those because yeah. you wouldn't have had be able to extend that slide like that right. and be able to come down off of that yeah so um i mean you and can this like this would probably be water down here right it is water it's, yeah so yeah. does it have like a like a pump or something that pumps water into the end of it there yes right okay that's kind of what so, I yeah there'll be water coming down it and flow and then it'll recycle sure. like, type thing yep so um, that is one reason why um, we chose that. Um, and it'll be extended some. I don't know for you guys that know where the pump room is in the very back. It's now moved over to the side because mm. of that zero entry and going. Yeah. Um, but there are features that can be added later. So, for instance, there's a rock, rock wall that could be added to the end. You climb up and then you fall into the water. Not really kind of give you a diving board effect. Right. Um, it's about $60,000. But you know what? Let's raise the pool. Let's get what we need. And then let's see if we need to add things, you know. But sure. I think you're going to have lots of options. You're going to have a water feature for the kids that, you know, spilling out water on them and, and yeah. everything. And there's a place for, like, volleyball. And there's going to be a basketball goal so you can play basketball. Um, so I think there's just going to be such a great variety of things for everybody. Mm -hmm. And I just see it. I just see it being able to 
for mothers where this pool used to be separate. You know, you went over here with your little babies right. and then you sent all your other kids to the big pool. Yeah. And now you're going to be able to kind of be over there in that infant toddler bay and still be able to have access to your other kids that are in the pool. Right. So you're going to be able to combine that. But I see physical therapy. I see um, like we had the cars program from come and um, swim with us like six times this summer since Attica doesn't have their pool. Oh, yeah. And. You know they love it, and I didn't think but about that. yeah, it gives them a, more access, and their workers not having to like literally help them get down into the water and get sure. back out. Yeah, and so you know I think of partnering with the hospital. You know if they have somebody with a knee replacement or some sort of replacement hip replacement, and they want them to have some water therapy. You know, do we open our hours at a different time, and they're able to come in and do some therapy? Right. Um, water is one of the best. Um, things for mental health. Oh yeah, you pr and you um, produce endorphins. It makes you happy. It makes you happy in men and women. Yep. And so, and you're able to exercise longer because it's not hard on your joints, right? And everything. So, you know, as much as I want it to make memories, I also want it to be a healing thing. I, you know what I mean? Like it, it's got this a lot of pool yeah, it has, has so a lot. much that it can offer. It does. Unfortunately, it has price tag with it. Yeah. Let's hear it. Let's hear that one. Um, four point two million dollars. Uh -huh. Is that all? <laughs> that's it. That's all. That's all it's going to take. It's four point two million dollars. Yeah. Um, the best thing about that is I can tell you that we only need less than a million dollars. Yeah. So that tells you that um, people are buying in. Right. And um, that the town is serious. Yeah. And. Um, we're going to get there. Our goal is August 1st of 2023. Damn, really? Yeah. That's incredible. Because yeah, I think you'll get it. I think we will, too. Yeah, I really do. You said you're you're how close now? Um, we Around $800,000, $850,000 yeah. left to go to raise. Yeah. And so, and like, I'm sure, is it, I'm sure it's matched like at some point with the state, right? Is there some no, Not the there? state. The town actually committed to $2 million. Um and everything and then the warren county commissioners came in with a million dollars for the county um, the pool name will change to the warren county community pool okay. so that way um it has that whole county feel sure and not that it's just whim sports yeah you know what i mean yeah and it's not just whim sport we have ton attica danville bismarck right lafayette people that come to our pool yeah um so but as a whole that just helps the you know for it to be warren county because that's where we're at that's that's our the town we love and yeah we're trying to you know make better um and then we have done all kinds of things we did a uh the community foundation did a partner match of five thousand dollars so it had to be personal donations that an individual gave and we just made that match last week uh -huh. so that five thousand turned to ten thousand dollars nice um we had the valerie mcintosh uh fund that also offered a challenge of fifteen hundred dollars and the life is short have a ball yeah Holla. Oh, she called me Holla. i was crying yeah and she's like we're gonna make that match we're yeah. gonna give it all to you and i just i mean kelly and Lisa and Tina, Melissa, all of them. Yeah. I tell people if they wonder what this benefit does for anybody. Oh, yeah. They're it is amazing what they do for our kids because they support the parks program every year. Yep. They've given money to the ball program. I mean, everybody, wrestling, yeah. school athletes. They, and, they do mine as well. Yeah. Yeah, the and Christmas thing. Yeah. So um, I just, you know, I it's just amazing um, yeah. to see that. Um, right now, we have a, a business or organization challenge. Um, I sent out letters, but if I missed anybody, mm -hmm. and after you see this, <laughs> you want to call me up, I will hook you up. <laughs> Get her on the horn. Get, Get on her the, on yeah. the horn. Um, any business or organization that wants to contribute um, as a sponsor, their name will go on our facility as a contributor of the pool. Oh, nice. And we've had several already do that. Um, so um, they will, their name will be listed mm -hmm. on that facility as a contributor and to uh, show their business off, you know, kind right, of an right. advertisement as well. Yeah. Um, so 
I'll, I'm going to donate to it, but I want Brandon Bryles promotions etched in the concrete <laughs> of this place. I told him anybody <laughs> wants that slide named after them or the um, splash pad, I will name it whatever you want. If you want to pay for that. Yeah. I, I was, and then we'd be at goal. If somebody paid for that slide and the splash pack. Yeah. We're I good. have my money raised. Yeah, we're good to go. Yeah, we we're got, good to go. Come on, people. <laughs> Let's do something here. <laughs> so we have done raffles. We had the best time at um, the um, Motorama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we had the best people. My husband showed up with his bib overalls cut like Farmer Brown. And <laughs> you got to, the kids got to, and even adults were spinning the wheel. And whatever they landed on, a balloon went above their head and it got popped. Oh, yeah. And I mean, they were glittered, salsa, oh. pudding, <laughs> and, and everything. Yeah. And I mean, so we have done a little bit of everything. Yeah. Um, to you know from selling raffle tickets sure. to let people know what we're we're up to and yeah and fun stuff like that so um be on the lookout there'll probably be only 999 more <laughs> raffles to go <laughs> but i'll get there <laughs> <laughs> yeah no doubt you got it and if you guys have any questions too i'm going to read a couple comments off because i always <laughs> like doing that i like to interact with you guys the best i can um and i've changed the way that we've done this now so it's a little bit more streamlined um let's see roger keller that would be awesome they loved it my daughter's one of them okay uh let's see here we go melinda story holla vicky is a saint <laughs> <laughs> yes she is she does so many great things for our community she does uh you can't really see it because it's off camera but i've got boxes and boxes and boxes of uh well we got metal machines uh shark attack track soccer balls my little ponies we got all all sorts of stuff and that's for the brandon browse christmas miracle but we're going to get to that later uh but yes she does she and she brings me all these every year she is an absolute saint and i love her for it well just know this is a partnership this isn't a vicky strickler thing yeah, it is well, definitely yeah. a community and everything but i love my community and i love um the youth and i want to keep them active and i want to you know have something for our families to make memories yeah and um even a good point yeah. that you said too with water being like for aerobics and things like that i know mine's a little bit different but um i actually i broke my tib fib mm -hmm. a little while back like snapped her right in half and i've got a rod in there and some screws and all this stuff it's a it's a mess and when the cold hits it's terrible it's, it's absolutely terrible um especially at night and i'll lay in bed and ache and moan and all that I got a hot tub and I can tell you it is the best thing. Ever. Oh yeah. Yeah. In the mornings I'll drink my coffee out there. It'll be like seven 30 in the morning and I'll yeah. just sit there and oh, I'll, or sometimes I'll get there and I'll watch the sun come up and, and all that. It is, it is fantastic. And I'm not a huge swimmer, but uh, I can imagine that the pool for, especially for physical therapy, I would imagine it's going to be a very, very similar. Experience. And we'll try to have some fun things. Ladies night. And, yeah. You know, all kinds of different right. things. Can you do that like a night can, swim? Would we that, are going to do be, night swim. It'll actually, this coming year is going to change. Um, two nights a week, the pool will close just a little bit earlier than it normally does, which is between six and seven. Yeah. And um, so that my guards can get a break. Uh -huh. And um, then we'll reopen for two hours at night. Uh -huh. So that way it'll open it up more for people that are... Um, maybe having to work till five o'clock and sure. they showed up at the pool at six and it closes 45 minutes later and, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. You're going to do like a no kids night. Um, well, probably, yeah. <laughs> we yeah. probably need to at least we had a, we, the, before school started back, we had uh, Mondays and Thursday nights and we themed it each night. So oh, yeah. like, um, we had a ladies night, uh -huh. um, and then we had a back to school night. So the, what your mission was anything that you could, uh, bring for a teacher, you know, classroom. Oh, um, we had something for the Better Way Co-op. So you brought a canned good or whatever. You got to get in for that and stuff. So yeah, we'll have. We've had um, movies on the pool. We had a night oh, thing. Yeah, and um, and everybody got to float around. And we, it wasn't Jaws, but it was on that. Um, Meg was it Meg or something? I don't know. I'm not good at remembering movie yeah. names. But anyway, you got to float around and watch the movie um, on the pool wall, and 
you know, that and hoped you sweet. didn't get eat. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like oh, I'd have you like that. jump. Ah! I would have got like a remote control boat and put a little shark head or a little <laughs> yeah. alligator head on there and cruise that thing around. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, we, we plan on having lots of um, different fun nights and stuff like that. Yeah. I think that's awesome. And I would, yeah, I'd love to see that. That'd be cool. Let's see. Tasha, I'm so glad Miss Vicky was able to do this podcast. She is amazing. Well, Everyone thank you for it. volunteering me, Tasha, because I did see it when Bra- Brandon said, hey, who should I have on my podcast? And Tasha was like, Miss Vicky. Yeah, of course. And Jared, I will Brandon Browse for president 2024. Hey, I agree. I, I don't agree. know about that. We'll have a we'll have a mess on our hands, I think. Let's see, Nate. Nate, we were just talking about you. <laughs> I have my peppermint mocha that I'm having just for you, Nate. <laughs> uh, let's see. What did he say? Maybe you mentioned it. But what else can we do? Or what else can we in the community do to help with everything? Yeah, what's a, what's a big thing? What what can everybody do? Um, well, one, Is there donate. Yep, yep. <laughs> one, donate. Um, me and Nate actually talked about a fundraiser. So, Nate, I hope you're, uh, you and I are going to partner up and we're going to um do a fundraiser together we i met with him today for another issue and i was telling him we needed to do something so i think we're going to partner on that a a fundraiser but um you know what um just giving your input supporting us talking positive yeah (laughs) believe it or not (laughs) yeah i not everybody agrees that you should spend 4.2 million dollars on a pool um you know it's hard when you maybe don't use the pool or you don't remember using the pool or Mm -hmm. you don't have a grandkid now that uses the pool. Um, or you, you just kind of have one mindset and, right. And so, um, as I, as much as I'm, I've gotten a lot of support, um, sometimes. Yeah. I know. And you don't want to focus on that, but you know what? Mm -hmm. I get it. Especially when you're putting, you know, I know this isn't you, but you're putting a little bit of yourself out there and you know, trust me, I have faced a lot of adversity because I feel like all I do is put myself out there on the internet and like all the videos and all that. And you don't get a whole lot of positive stuff, you know, but it is nice. And, and I'm sure you've already gotten this and you'll get it much more in the future, but it's, it's really nice when this comes to fruition and, and people come up to you and thank you, Vicky, this is an amazing thing that you've done that tell her, thank you. That will go (laughs) so far, you know, and and it sucks when people say, well, I don't need a pool, you know, or whatever. Yeah. Like, okay. And you hear probably, or at least remember more of that than you will yeah. get the other. So when you see her, just tell her that you love her. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys too. Yeah. <laughs> because a lot of you, I come and beg for things. Park program. Yeah. And you know what? That's another thing. You know, over 200 kids a day swim in that pool four days a week. Um, yeah. So that wouldn't have an opportunity otherwise. Right. And at no cost. Um, and the town's amazing. I mean, we don't give them enough credit um, because we just, we don't see those things. We don't realize, oh, they let them swim and, and paid for the lifeguard and did yeah. these things, you know. And and like I said, if it wasn't for um, a great town crew, um, that pool wouldn't be opening. I mean, right? We, it, it's we, already, the liner I was telling you earlier is 12 to 14 years past. It's, it had a 10-year warranty and we're... 12 to 14 years past that. Right. And that just shows you that we have a town that's wants to take care of it and is invested in it. And that's why we know that this will be taken care of and um, everything. Yeah. And I think that's, that says a lot too. Like, you know, just like you're saying, yeah, you don't want to spend $4 million on something that's going to go out of hell in, you know, a year or two, but yeah. it's like, at least you not only, but not only, you know, but you also have proof too. like, well, we've done this over the last 25 years. We took care of what we had. Yeah. You know, we're going to do it moving on. And I don't know. I I just need Eric Kincaid to make me some benches. So, Eric, if you're watching or Camilla or Melissa. Tag him. Tag him. Tag him. Tag him. Tag him. That I would love to have some new benches at the pool. Like a a picnic table or like just Um, like a. Let's get into it. What kind of bench? <laughs> <laughs> we have benches now. They're kind of wooden. Okay. Um, they have made some really nice, awesome benches. Yeah. Um, Accuburn, I think, is yep. um, who he partners with or has them do them. Sure. And they have um, delivered several through town. And I want to feel the love. Yeah. I don't want to be left out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, everybody tag him in here. Let's get it. So 
and there the it is. Like, we already got the first one. Get her some benches. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. <laughs> Let's see. Just out of curiosity, I haven't heard much about this till a couple weeks. Well, new oh, what well, all new features will be in the new pool plan? Um, well, we kind of covered that a little bit, but sounds like like the the slides the big thing. Um, this big filler over there. I don't know if you can see it, but slide looks like uh, your splash pad. Splash pad. Zero entry. Zero entry. That yeah. is going to be amazing. To cruise right in. Well, I meant to ask you about this guy. This is that cool. is the infant pool. Oh, okay. So that's a water feature. Like if you went to Holiday World and you see those little things that come up in the water yep. bucket dump yep. and stuff like that, it'll be an interaction um, okay. activity for them. Sure. Um, and I was going to ask you about this too. Concession stand. They're still doing that? Like the yes. Ice? I remember that was always my thing. I let, look. I'm a, I'm oh, a, my goodness. I'm a little fatty, okay? I like having the ice cream sandwiches. I remember those were my thing. I always I eat the all the things. Yeah. They, yes. The concession stand is always the happening place. Yeah. Yeah. They're booming over there. <laughs> they right? are. So where will that? That'll probably be what, It'll here? be this building right here. Yeah, okay. So this is pretty much the same kind of layout, sort of, right? It is. This is just expanded into that driveway. So, like, the bait... The baby pool is like half that size. Now. Okay, yeah. So that'll extend out, sure. and then the the main pool will extend further out, which okay. is why we're moving that pump room over. Uh -huh. Because right now the pump room is at the very end of that where the diving boards are. Right, right. So, um, and then what? Like the the old skate park um, chessboard. Thing. It's still there. It's still mm -hmm. over here. Yeah, right. it'd be right there in front. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I haven't been over there to play some giant chess yet, but it's on my list of things to do. Wow. I would like to check that out. <laughs> and so. And we have new tennis courts. I mean, they just painted the tennis yeah. courts. The park board has done an amazing job on. And then I don't know if you've seen the new basketball. No, I haven't. Um, right behind the pool. Um, they just poured brand new cement. Um, and instead of Did two. They really? Instead of two baskets. Yeah. It is four. So you oh. can actually have two games going on at a time. No kidding. I didn't yeah. Know. This so, is going to be a yeah. booming place. Here. Yeah. The park okay. is just there. The park board is taking on a five-year park plan. And um, hopefully they're going to get us some money for the pool. They're actually in the process of writing a grant right now. Nice. Um, they have to do a five-year park proposal. And um, the pool is in that proposal for some funding. Okay. And, um and it's not just our park. I mean, it's taking care of, we have some other parks that um, are in Warren County up by the hospital and down in Old Town. Um, so they have some basketball goals that are going to go up. Um, they have a mom and me swing going at both of those parks and up at the uh, Pavilion Park. Is that like the one that Attica put in? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Um, so um, they're, I mean, they're doing so much for, and there's actually like five parks in Wimsport. And I know I'm not going to get that. I don't know what the other two, but there actually is five parks um, that the park board works on. And um, so they're doing a great job, but the tennis courts just got resurfaced and new basketball goal. And then yeah. of course, you know, we raised money a few years ago for the brand new pavilion up there. Yeah, that's nice. And yeah, um, I have been up there. And the yeah. ballparks, mm -hmm. um, we're getting ready, hopefully. Hopefully, if town board's watching, I'm going to have them vote to put up a fence on the softball end. <laughs> <laughs> but we have lights on the other end now. And so um, the park, you know, the ball fields are just absolutely awesome. And so, yeah, we're, the, they're, our, we're very blessed. Yeah. I was going to ask you, too. Is, do we have a volleyball net here? Is yes. That that is? Nice. And Thank a you. basketball goal. There's, there'll be a, I don't know if it shows on there or not for sure, but there'll be a basketball goal um, so you can shoot some hoops that'll be sweet while you're yeah. in the pool yeah do we have any other questions about this because i uh i want to make sure we get all them answered yeah. what did eric say oh let's see uh get her some benches oh let's see candy compact will you be able to cover this pool in the winter or will it be it will be covered okay we will not leave our pool exposed okay just like we do now you do cover it now Yes, it's really? covered right now. Mm -hmm. No kidding. How, so how do you cover it? You it it actually looks like a huge tarp Yeah. that is bolted down. I don't know if you've ever noticed on the cement, but there's like little hooks. Oh, so yeah. every so many feet. So it is actually covered from one end to the other end. Really? So mm -hmm. will you cover up the splash pad stuff too? Or does it have um, to probably just I the water doubt, I doubt. They probably just would have to drain like, you know how you winterize something? Sure. They probably winterize that to drain your pipes because if you don't, you're going to end up with, uh, right. you know, 
things yeah. being broken and frozen and all that good stuff. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, covering that up. Working end of town, or maybe they will be wrong end of, wrong end of town. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that <Hi>, is. Eric. <laughs> I like where it's set it. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Damn, Attica is lagging. Well, I know it's it's just it's different. I it will is... tell you something because I don't. I I know people get very frustrated that Attica doesn't have a pool. Yeah, but. You have to realize, too, that, um, how do I want to say it? Funding isn't the same in both towns. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. um, one town might be able to bond money. The next town might not be able to bond money because they already have their money wrapped up into a different project. And yeah. it doesn't ex it ex doesn't expire for so many years or whatever. Um, sometimes grants aren't available to towns that are available to cities. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're available to a city, but they're not available to a town. Right. There are not pool grants out there. I, I'll just be honest with you. Um, DNR is our, our um, one that the park board is trying to do. Um, but it's, there are just not swimming pool grants out there. And so I, I just want people to understand as much as they're frustrated or they say well if they'd have done this this and this, this. Right. you know the same way i could say if we'd have built this pool three years ago before covid it'd been half the price it is now you know right. what i'm saying kind of, of thing sure. um, so i just i, I it's it's a you know what i mean i'm with you and... i get it i just i just think that people i just want them to understand it's not because anybody doesn't want a pool in attica right. or um they just or a lack of effort like the, it, yeah, yeah the, the, so, the folks that i've had i actually i had uh i had brian on here and and we talked about this this was back when they were trying to decide if they were going to shut down the attica pool or try to rebuild it or you know how it was all going to go and and what to do and and it really opened my eyes up a lot too like what you're saying where if you have a city right then okay well now the way that you get funded for certain things is much different than if it's a town mm -hmm. or you know and and a lot of people don't don't even like I mean, I'm a dummy. I didn't know, but I didn't even know there's a difference between a town and a city. It's like, oh, well, yeah. if you don't have a mayor, okay, well, now this is a whole different thing. And it was really eye-opening on how they get money and how money is spent. And then also, depending on where you are at in that particular county, it also changes yeah. things big time, you know? And well, it's kind of like I, I couldn't – trustees could not give to the pool because it was named Wimsport Pool except for Washington Township – because mm. they're in Wimsport. Right. But other trustees could not give because we were Wimsport pool and we weren't, in, you know, right. so changing it to Warren County, not, to, I don't, I'm hoping other trustees are going to give. I, I have sent letters to them. I don't know. I, I know of a couple, but yeah. that are going to put us in their budget since now we're going to be Warren County. But it, it's all sometimes in the wording and people don't understand that. And so Attica people, we love you and you're welcome. I graduated from Attica. I am a Warren County girl now. And I, you know, I am so invested in my community. Yeah. I love them so much. Um, but this pool is going to service them mm -hmm. until or when maybe Attica can do something. Um, so just want you, I just want them to understand that because right. the people that are in office, things that they, I, it, it is not fun. Yeah, it's writing grants or the work that it goes into, or um, and you're not even guaranteed if you write them. You know what I mean? You can write right. them and get, and it could be the answer no. Yeah, <laughs> I write I write ten for the parks program, and I might get two or three. You're right. You know what I mean? Right. And I might get a grant one year, but I don't get it the next year because it's gone. And so, just just to understand and to go a little bit easy. Yes. You know, our understanding. I want you guys. You know, I want them to understand. Sure. It's, sure. Let's see. We got another one. Uh, sorry if I missed this part. Will individual and family pa uh, passes still be available? Absolutely. Yeah. That'll probably help out too on maintenance and things like that. Absolutely. Course, right? um, we sold like 90 some passes this year. Um, I think that one, it, it it's a place to go that's affordable. Sure. How much is it? Um, well, a single pass is $50 for the whole entire summer. Okay. A family pass is $120. Yep. Um, I think that'll go up just a little bit um, when that pool comes in, just because um, you're going to have to. But everybody know the pool makes no money. No money. It is a community service mm -hmm. for the community. Sure. They might make back what they pay lifeguards and stuff. But um, 
the chemicals alone are outrageous. <clears throat> Um, I seen a water bill one time at like two thousand dollars. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you're thinking the price mm. of chlorine went through the roof too. Yeah, of all things. So just know that your community is, they're giving back. I mean, they're taking the money you're paying into them, and they are investing back into the community because, um, you know, that's definitely it's not like oh going to become rich because we now have a pool right, it's just yeah. going to be that maybe people will want to come live in warren county we're going to be able to help them with uh health sure. and we're going to be able to help them for a lot of parents it's child care you know they yeah. know their kids in the right place and and they're being safe and yeah. they're being watched so that thing's gonna you know be like a list of things that's going to be for yeah the that, right yeah that's that's a uh, multi-purpose tool that is for certain Let's see, Kevin Strickler and the town guys are uh, are great on maintaining the town pool, fairground. Oh, yeah. And they are, too. If Rouse drove a lot for the town. Yeah, holla grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, they those guys do they do a fantastic job with the town. No doubt about it. Um, let's see. I wanted to get. Oh, yeah, that's right. The, the passes for the thing. Okay, great. So and right now it's two dollars for admission and three dollars for students and three dollars for adults if they came daily. Like a, yeah, just like a single mm -hmm. day thing. Yeah. And do you think that'll stay the same or do you think it'll change? Um, I will think that it might stay pretty close to that. Yeah. I mean, they're gonna do whatever they can to try to keep those prices affordable. Sure. Do you so. guys have any any other questions too? Um, let's see what else do I have on the board up there. We got oh yeah, the maintenance. That that was a, a big thing too that um that i did want to cover so and I, I know we briefly talked about it but like you know you were and and kind of going off of uh, tim kimple's statement to saying the town guys are great so yeah you have the old liner that has exceeded its life by 10 years and or was it 15 10 uh, it's like 12 to 14 okay yeah somewhere in there so the the biggest thing too that is i think crucial in something like I mean, at least of this magnitude that you're going to be able to take care of it, right? So mm -hmm. I guess moving forward, is there any type of like maintenance or anything like that that's going to have to come into play that, you know, maybe we're going to have to I think it'll be a different, I, I, that'll be budgeted. I mean, like they have a pool budget. Mm -hmm. So um, I think the first year will be kind of like hard to figure out like, okay, what's this? This is different size. Sure. It's different this. But um, when the town does its budget, mm -hmm. that maintenance will be like, it has a pool budget right now. And we're able to stay within that budget. Um, so I don't think it'll be that we're raising money, uh -huh. um, per se for it. Um, and hopefully actually it'll be more effective. Like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. a pool that's that old and that's pipes of this, like, like you like will if... hope that maybe even some of that cost will become even a little bit helpful because you're not running on old equipment that right is that lagging run or run right. hard yeah and yeah. stuff like that so that's what i was wondering if this would just be more efficient than the, than the um, setup and i just have. think that the the thing is is them learning what difference of maintenance it'll be than the old pool right um but they'll learn it and they'll do it and i think showing them that They've maintained it past its life. Yeah. Shows you that they're going to continue. They wouldn't have, you know what? They wouldn't continue to do it right now if they didn't like hope that the next year we're going <laughs> to open up the open up the cover and it's going to, right? You know, right? So, I mean, I think their history shows you that they're going to do whatever it takes. Yeah, to make that pull last. So, and you said, um, what was the date that you said you were hoping for? Um, August first is our um, our goal. August 1st of 2023 to so, have raised our money. Yes. So moving forward. So bam, then you after, get the money. Then we will uh, sign with HWC. Mm -hmm. And I believe, don't quote me, but I think you sign a 17 month contract with them. Not that it takes 17 months, but sure. that you would give them that yeah that time miss mm -hmm. vicky's hope is that you'd break ground on august 2nd yeah and you had a great fall yeah. you had a mild winter uh -huh. and early spring and we still had something yeah. but you know that's in my world yeah. <laughs> we'll see yeah do you think it would be a possibility <laughs> of that um or you think i know it's probably I would, wishful I, thinking, I would love to wishful think or you know could you they get the splash pad in so that you at least oh, have sure. something yeah. or get something you know what i mean so that you're not completely without something during the summer right. but that is my world um right. 
I will promote it as much as I, <laughs> I'll try to make them think like I think, but, um, yeah, you know, all right. I'm kind of wishful thinking maybe, but yeah. How many lifeguards will you have to have for a day? And do you have issues getting lifeguards? Well, that's a good question. Um, well, actually this year was kind of a struggle getting lifeguards, uh, for a couple of mm. reasons. One, um, Seeger no longer right now is offering lifeguarding classes. So before Seeger had a class oh. offered during the day. And so kids could take that class and get their lifeguarding certificate. So now um, they're either having to go to Purdue um, for a three day class or Fountain Central, I know, offers like eight Sundays or something like that. And you can get your lifeguarding. Um, I think with Attica closing, um, a lot of Attica people are like, well, why do I want to get a lifeguarding? Because there's no pool here for me to do. Mm -hmm. um, however, I did hire three Attica lifeguards this year. Nice. Holla. Um, and um, so I hire around 12. Um, I think we'll have to go up a little bit on that. You will have to have four, one, at, at least three lifeguards out at a time and you have a lifeguard in so you'll probably work about four a day or two different in? shifts one um, in the pool no well no in the office like oh, they, oh okay i got you sorry yeah. um they work in the office so what they would do is like every 20 minutes one would rotate to the other side of the I, pool this one rotate in yes. so they get cold off for 20 minutes and then they rotate around okay um right now we do shifts so like i have one that comes in at parks program time at 10 o'clock and then they don't leave until three o'clock we have a break and so then two other people come in at 12 so you have four people and then at three o'clock two leave and two more come in so six people a day work yeah right now well yeah you got some people moving in the thing is thing. is the pool is open for such a long time technically because you have parks program coming in at 10 and then you don't close till six or seven so yeah um you know and we do birthday party i mean you know sometimes it's extra hours because somebody's had a birthday party at the pool or bring um, bring your cake down yeah, the slide baseball <laughs> baseball picnics and all bring, kinds of stuff i'm gonna bring my cake down the slide well i'll be in trouble if i do that <laughs> well, we, might get, we might get you I'm gonna get we'll put you out. in the penalty box the penalty box <laughs> oh, is you, still I staying was gonna say, i used to spend some time in that thing yeah you get popped for running <laughs> yeah i'm always running around yeah you put the penalty box yeah so that's staying good if you if you little shits are watching get ready you're going <laughs> yes you'll still have the penalty box yeah all right so what else do we have any other questions i would like to uh I would like to answer all of them that I can while we uh, while we're doing this thing. Um, also, too, I am going to jump off on a little bit of a tangent here, but uh, I'm really I'm really excited about this Christmas program thing. Um, oh yeah, I got one of my own. Well, I don't, I'm not going to get it now. Look at this, Kapow! So Yay! we are doing it again. Everybody's been asking me uh, the Brandon Browse Christmas Miracle. It is a go. Uh, we will be doing it this year. And I even have the date set. So if you guys have sent me a message and I haven't gotten back with you, it's because I hadn't really got dates set or figured out for this yet. But it looks like we are a go. So if you are wanting to help shop for the Christmas miracle, we are going to be doing that on December the 16th and probably leaving here around 6 o'clock p.m. And we are going to go to Meyer Holla. Meyer <laughs> yes. is hooking us up fat yet again. Uh, I've already been in contact with them, um, and they're they're they were great last year. They brought us uh, they brought us like water and like I've seen cookies. That cookies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They brought all kinds of stuff out, and it was fantastic. It was so cool because they drove down here from Lafayette, and they they call it was it was kind of a funny story. They call me, I get this number that pops up on my phone. I don't know who it is, and I'm like, I don't know answer it and i'm like hello yeah hey uh this is so-and-so with meyer i'm like okay great i'm like you know we spent over ten thousand dollars so i'm thinking maybe somehow like we didn't check out like a whole cart right i'm like we, we probably stole something you know <laughs> like I'm, I'm thinking i'm in trouble i'm like oh yeah I was like, all right all right you know is everything okay and because this is the this is 24 hours later why are you calling me and they're like okay uh are you outside I'm like, am I outside Meyer? I said, no. Are you out? I said, I'm in Attica. They go, right. Are you outside? I said, no. 
I, I can be. I walk outside and there they are. They drove down and they had awesome? water. I was like, Man, you guys scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I thought we messed up somewhere. But it was so cool. Mm -hmm. It was so cool that they brought that stuff. Like they wanted to be a part of it. We took a picture and I think they uh maybe don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure that they sent it off to like their corporate thing. Oh, that's and, you awesome. know, and it was so cool. We had this giant receipt that we held up, you know, <laughs> and it was like five miles long. But it was it was really, really cool. And and they were just a great company to deal with. And it was it was so easy. Like we got there, we had we had like our own registers and stuff. And then as we were checking stuff out, they gave us these big carts to put everything in and take them to our trailer. And it was just really great. They were they were fantastic to deal with. And I can't give back to those guys enough. Thank you, Meyer. If you're watching this, I really appreciate you guys. And we are definitely gonna be shopping with you guys again this year. But moving forward, so now, the very next day, we're going to be setting up shop and giving things out to the kids that next day, which uh, I believe is this, what I say, 17th. Um, I want to be sure so I don't mess this up. Yeah, December 17th. It's on a Saturday. Um, it's actually the weekend before Christmas. So um, it will be given out on the 17th. And I'm hopeful on this. Um, I've got some emails to send out tonight. But I'm actually hopeful that we can maybe move this to the elementary school. Don't quote me on that either. Uh, I, I haven't got any any word back of even remotely yes. But uh, if I had to guess, I'm thinking it's it's a hard maybe. <laughs> uh, I'm very hopeful for it. Just uh, keep saying it. They'll eventually convince themselves. That's what I do. I'm, I'm like, you're doing this. They're like, if. I'm like, no, it's not if. It's right. when. It is you know? when, it, so. right. when, I, when I pull in there with my trailer <laughs> and yeah. I start setting stuff up, we're going to find out. But uh, no, so I'm, I'm hopeful that we can move it to the elementary school. Um, for a few different reasons. One, it's much easier to market. Just go to the Attica grade school versus uh, trying to give directions to, to downtown, which is a little bit harder. Uh, the parking is going to be like the whole logistics of it's way better. Parking's better. Uh, getting people down this line and where they can shop and then turn around and come right back out. Uh, it, 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 there's a lot of things that could really benefit from doing it there. So I'm really hopeful that, that we can move to the elementary school. Um, however, if that doesn't happen, then we will probably just keep it where we've had it just out of familiarity and, um, and that type of thing. And it's always fun there. It is, it's close quarters. So I like to shoot Nerf guns at the kids and <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm like a giant kid myself anyways. Like, ah, ho hopefully I never have to grow up, but yeah. Uh, Becky Savage, holla. Yeah. West Lafayette Meyer. That is exactly right. Becky, you rock and I owe you one. Um, Doug. Yeah. Shout out to Meyer. See, thank you guys so mm -hmm. much. Yeah, they were great last year. Doug helped me, and it, Doug was Doug was one of my favorites to shop with because he is from a very similar background of me. Where, like, I, you know, when we grew up, we just we didn't really have a whole lot. You know, like our parents did the best that they could, and and we've talked about this a lot before. But uh, when he was shopping, like, we're we're in a hurry for one. We're on like a time crunch, and you don't realize how long it takes to spend that kind of money. And, and we get there and I see Doug and he's shopping. He's like looking at stuff and flipping it over. I'm like, dude, that is a kick-ass present. Like, just just put it in the, here. As a matter of fact, and, and like he just shovel the whole row. <laughs> I seen the Hot Wheel cars and they were, they were going. <laughs> <laughs> just rake them into the cart, my man. Yeah, and, and he is just, he is such a nice guy. He is, he, he's, I mean, he's my best friend, you know. So yeah, holla Doug. I love you and I can't wait to go shopping again. Um. Oh, Nate just texted me too. He's going to, hell yeah. Holla Nate. He's going to help out that Christmas giveaway. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So we're going to, we're going to do some shopping, um, that Friday night and hopefully get it all. I'm also going to have a donation box set up again. I believe at tractor supply. Uh, I don't see that being a huge problem. Yeah. 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 You're good. You're good. It's, it's that type of okay. <laughs> Yeah. You're good. Um, so I'm going to try to, uh, I'm going to try to get over there to tractor supply. I should hear back from them Thursday and know for sure. Uh, I'm hopeful, but I, I haven't been told yes or no. Um, and I'm also going to get with Dwayne, uh, hopefully sometime tomorrow. And if I can get an okay from him, then, uh, I'd like to really set up another giveaway box at the Attica County market. So if you guys see those, and you have some toys or whatever, you know, or you want to go buy some stuff and then donate it there, you can feel free. And then hopefully what I'm going to do is before that Friday, we'll just show up, grab the box and, uh, and, and load it all up in the trailer and then have everything set up and ready to go. And 
hopefully be about as seamless as it was last year. It was pretty slick last year. It worked out pretty well. Um, call me after the podcast. I got a great idea. Uh, I can't wait, Tasha. I will definitely do that. I got a couple other calls I got to make too, but I will, uh, I will definitely not forget you. So sorry, I didn't mean to hijack your podcast, but <laughs> no, hey, well, you know, that's why I brought toys. Yeah. It's like, I so am cool so glad too. to be a part of it. You know, I hope they enjoy Hot Wheels and and retractable and, nets with ping pong paddles and <laughs> basketball and footballs and my little ponies. Yeah. And, and the trade. fire, if there's any firefighter stuff left, because Brandon's gonna be playing <laughs> gonna with rock the hat <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> Last year, I, I got a set of moon boots. Remember those mm -hmm. moon boots? Yeah, and they and like they don't make those anymore. And I I found I, I don't even know who bought them, but they were sitting there on the table, and no, there was like the last gift. I was like, you know what? I I've done this. What I think this will be the third, second or third year. I can't remember. Uh, I've got. Two Hot Wheels cars, save one each year. I was like, you know what? Those moon boots don't go. They're coming home with me. I don't feel bad about it. And I was trying to hide them. Well, I always enjoy watching everybody uh, playing with the toy, the big yeah. kids playing with the toys in the store. Just to make sure, I'm sure that their uh, kids safe yeah, and, and loved, you know, will be enjoyed because I just think it's, I just love it. Justin Davis nearly wiped out an entire row of toys last year. I, I was like, hey, see if you can do a wheelie on that bike. And he's like, oh, I could definitely do it. No, you can't. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I thought he was going down. I thought we were going to wipe that bike out. I thought we were going to have to throw it in the weeds when we were done. <laughs> well, well, all right. Sorry about that one. Yeah, yeah. It, it is a blast. It's a blast shopping. And, you know, it's, and I don't mean to sound the type of way because it's not, it's not my money. It's, it's, you know, the whole community, everyone chips in and, and really does so much for the kids, but it is it is as, as fun as you think it would be to go in yeah. and like just buy it all like yeah. whatever you know it's so fun and it's it's so cool and it's not me you know it's not my money but it is it is an absolute blast and seeing all your friends like everyone especially the guys the girls are more calculated because the guys are dummies <laughs> but the girls like they they have a, a method down and they go and they will pick out a gift and then they'll be like you know oh, okay it's it's 19.99 and then they're like they're figuring out the sales tax right so like what we typically do is we figure out okay well we got ten thousand dollars to spend so the girls will do five and the guys will do five and i usually don't really pick much out i just walk around and have fun you know <laughs> really but like I, I, i'll watch the girls and you'll see them and they're they're figuring out the sales tax and i'm not kidding you when they ring that stuff up the last year that they did it if i don't remember the number but let's say it was five thousand exactly it was five thousand dollars. They missed it by five bucks. It oh was my five thousand yeah, dollars. Awesome. Yeah, I was like, "Are you kidding me?" The guys, I'm, and I'm like, "I'm a part of this. This is my this is my group. We're throwing shit in the cart, and we're like, how much? Let's take bets on how much we got. We're like two hundred dollars, four hundred dollars. We get up there, it's like sixty three bucks. <laughs> we're like, we're gonna be here all night. Yeah. yeah, but it is it is such a great time and. I guess moving forward, I would like to tell the whole community, thank you guys for all that you've done in the past. And I really, truly believe this will be by far the biggest one that we've done yet. And I'm, I'm very excited. It's, you know, we've got enough people on board like, like you and, and, you know, people that really, really want to make a difference. And just like what you were talking about too, with the life short, have a ball, like they're, they're big in it. And like, and I, they just talked to me the other day. Hey, we got your check. We're ready as soon as you are. And, you know, and like Becky Savage, you know, and, and representing Meyer and how thoughtful all those people are and Doug, and Tasha and, and all my friends that come with it. It's just it takes a, a village. Oh, man. And I, you know, a couple of like this isn't something I've been doing a long time. A couple of years ago, I would have never dreamt that it would have turned into what it is. And it's just I want to tell you thank you and and to everybody well, thank you for letting me be a part of it. Oh, of course. And uh, and everyone that's listening, man, thank all you guys. And I'm excited to to do it again this year. So no, I look forward to it. <laughs> Maybe I'm, I'll go shopping. You should. Yes. You I would should have a blast. <laughs> I probably would. <laughs> if you're not riding a bike out there, you ain't going. <laughs> I will make sure you, you ride one it. wheelie. It's a, it's a must. You get there, you ride your and wheelie. And you're picking me up off the floor when I fall <laughs> off, right? Because that would be the part. <laughs> that's all right. Justin, watch Justin out. would help me out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. Well, if you guys don't have any more questions for her, Thank you for having me. I, I told you I was so nervous. I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Everybody knows I love to talk. Yeah. <laughs> but I thought, oh, I don't know. But the, it's been such a pleasure to share with everybody. 
and you know for them to see what's happening sure and that it takes everybody it it's does. not one person and you know it's everybody and so thank you for giving me the opportunity to oh, of course maybe somebody out there will want to contact me and say hey i want to i want to know what i can do yeah and and seriously if you do or even if if you don't know how to get a hold of her or you know comment on this you know send me a message whatever it takes and another thing i thought about real quick before we go yeah um i know a couple businesses were like what if it doesn't happen like we don't mm. you know we give you money and it doesn't happen well one it's gonna happen anybody that knows me yeah, yeah. <laughs> knows yeah that i might be on the uh corner uh, with a boot and everybody putting <laughs> change into it at the four corners but um and everything but it will happen but two we had a couple people that are like i'm gonna pledge you know i'm gonna pledge two thousand mm. dollars and when you're at the i mean they gave us a letter yeah. stating we are pledging you two thousand dollars we are gonna do this or at that you know whatever it is they're they wanted to pledge sure um and when you're ready for the project we will cut your check mm. so you know if there's somebody out there that is uh, you know skeptical right but you want to be a part of it and you're like if you do it i do want to give this or whatever yeah don't hesitate you know i mean That's we have people point. you know we have a lot of people that have given mm -hmm. with the belief and know that it's gonna happen of course but i understand as a business you're like mm, uh, right what are you gonna do with my money if it doesn't happen right um it will happen <laughs> yes it will, it will happen. happen yes um build it they will come <laughs> but um it's yeah. gonna happen but however that's just something for you to think about if you're a business that's been on the fence and like i had your letter or i didn't get a letter you know i want i'll pledge and when you're ready you know yeah it helps us to you know to at least know right that we have this x amount of dollars even though it may not be sitting in that account right at the moment you know we have x amount of dollars so just know yeah you can and if you don't know how to get a hold of her uh i, I tagged her in this uh it'll be in the description you can send her a message on here i'm sure you checked that a lot right mm -hmm. yep send her a message comment on this send me a message and i'll get it to her i don't always see all the messages i'm not so great at that but if you comment on this i more than likely will be able to see it and or just go straight straight to her she'll take care of it she is fantastic about getting things <laughs> where they need to go <laughs> trust me I don't take no for an answer. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that's right well vicky it has been an absolute pleasure to have you on here i'm so thankful well, thank that you, you did it and uh as always thank you for all the amazing gifts for the kids no i hope they enjoy them and they come in handy oh yeah <laughs> all right well hey that's a wrap i appreciate all you guys watching thank you very thank much you. and uh, we'll see you on the next one